This very body is soil. My body, your body, everybody is just soil body. Exceptional professors here today who have uh, very important information to impart to all of us and we're going to take this information and we're going to put it into practice and we're going to save soil. That is what the purpose of today is, right? So I'm encouraging everybody to make sure that you look after our soil, look after our land and all our students who are here you must leave this room saying to yourselves, you're going to be a new kind of activist in South Africa. You have that power. You have the ability to actually ensure that our four billion year old mother doesn't die. That in terms of our children, we are leaving them with a sustainable future where they have food security. And I urge every single one of you to play your part in terms of ensuring our, our environment is a sustainable one in the years to come. And so I think for sustainability, it's essential that we, we, we realize there are a whole lot of technical interventions we want to do, but we can't do them unless the people who live in those areas see value in, in what we're doing. We can all green up and feed up our families, especially the poor. Millions of hectares will be restored. If we're going to continue to feed the planet, there has to be a paradigm shift in all forms of agriculture, not commercial stuff, small scale as well. Everybody's got to start thinking slightly differently about it. It's, it's really a huge problem. When people talk about climate change, biodiversity, water security, energy security, food security, you rarely see people talking about soils. why we're chosen to exhibit here today is because a lot of the students who study geography and environmental related degrees don't often understand the impact that their degrees have to the future of sustainable environmental management. IESA seeks to practice and also promote sustainable environmental practices and environmental management practices within the field of integrated environmental management. We were taught about soil awareness. I learned a lot about the stuff that you can do as a person, as a one person, as an individual, the amount of stuff that you can do to save the soil and help the country grow richer. So today we celebrated World Environment Day at the University of KwaZulu-Natal and it was an absolute success. We were just so overwhelmed by the support and the interest that we received from our students, our academics and the business sector. Um, we had celebrated with the theme of Save Soil to create awareness around the issue of soil desertification, which is an issue that is really underestimated and it's really not appreciated by society and by government. And essentially this is quite a crisis because soil desertification threatens our food security. Because it threatens our food security, it essentially could result in issues like famines, civil wars and strife and this is a future that we are trying to avoid.
magic of soil, ease, it turns death into life. Depleted soils will not quench the fire of hunger. Unquenched hunger can burn the very world. This is a generational responsibility. Save soil, let's make it happen.